All right, it's time for the best Android application video. Here I'm sharing five simple yet useful Android apps which you should consider trying this month. Let's get rolling. The first app on the list is Home Workout. This app has been rated 4.9 on Play Store by more than 2 million users. If you are someone who is really keen to start a regular workout but lazy to hit the gym, then here is an amazing app which can give you all the training you need to work out right at your home. All the exercises listed in this app can be performed just with your body weight without any need of equipments. There are enough variety of workouts for abs, chest, legs, arms and full body. If you are a beginner, you have exercises tailored for you. If you are an intermediate or advanced, you have all the workouts made for you. This app can sync to Google Fit application once you enable the switch in the settings menu. You can set goals, track calories, track your workout history, it's quite a comprehensive application for home workout. This does come with ads and if you are serious about your health and workout, you can go for premium. Do check this app and let me know if you find it useful. Before we go to the next app, if you are someone who love watching contents on Android apps, Samsung phones, One UI, Yamaha UI, Galaxy watches, etc., make sure to subscribe and become a part of Apex community. Now let's go to the next application. This is a premium KWGT app called King KWGT. For this premium app, the developer has offered 20 promo codes which will be shared on first come first served basis. All you need to do is subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment and DM me on Twitter or Facebook. I will be sharing the codes in a day or so. DM me only if you are a pro KWGT user because this is not a standalone application. You must have installed the KWGT Pro on your phone to use this widget pack. Coming to this pack, there are a variety of wonderfully designed widgets here. As you can see, we have informational widgets, weather widgets, search bars, app shortcuts, etc. And these widgets are uniquely designed. They've got the shadow effect in all the widgets and offer some amazing gradient colors as well. Check them out and let me know what you think about it. Next app on the list is Money Manager Expense Tracker Budget Planner. There are tons of such apps which offer expense tracking, budget planning features, but this one here is pretty good. I like it mainly because of the UI experience, its simplicity and the usability. As you can see, we have four tabs at the bottom. Then we have a plus button to add the data. As you can see, once you tap on plus, we get this menu. You can add your income or expense or the amount that you have transferred. And then here we add the date, amount, Describe it, select a category and that's it. Go back to transaction, we can see the data in simple tabs. We can also see the statistics, add wallet, like how much money I have in hand and create a budget for the month. I can also set goals so that I can manage my income and expenses and make sure it's on track. I think you should try it out once to understand it better. I'm sure you are going to find it useful. Fourth app on the list is Fonts Keyboard. Of course, it's just a keyboard with cool looking fonts. If you're bored of using the same old font every day for texting, then start using something new for a change. This is a very simple keyboard which focuses only on fonts and no other special features here. And that makes me not to use this keyboard as the main keyboard, but what I do is I switch to this keyboard whenever I need to send a text using some unique fonts. That way I can use Samsung keyboard as primary keyboard and switch to this font keyboard whenever I need it. On Samsung keyboard, we have this icon here, which enables us to quickly switch to different keyboards. Make sure to check this app out. The last application on the list is Under Trees. This is basically an app where you can record your daily journal, secrets, journey, mood, and any private moments. And that's because it enables you to lock the diary and keep it private. So even if someone in your family has an access to your phone, you can have peace of mind while you let the other family members to use your phone, provided you have password protected your diary. Again, a beautiful user interface which you will fall in love with. On the top, we have calendar, search bar, tags, media, and settings. Tap this plus button at the bottom to write whatever is in your mind, add pictures from camera or gallery, and just save it. The pictures will appear on top like this and your typed content will be below that. It's a beautifully designed digital diary you must consider checking out. That was the last app in this episode. Let me know which one you like the most. Make sure to encourage these app developers by reviewing and rating them on Play Store. They work really hard to bring these apps for us and we should encourage them by rating and leaving a review on the Play Store. Do that and do let me know your thoughts about this video in the comment section below. That's all I have here. Thanks for watching. I will see you soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.